Today's video is going to be a follow-up on the last video that I made. Instead of the forehand, I'm going to show you guys how to do the backhand, how to combine both power and spin. We're going to start off with your take back like we did on the forehand side. I want you guys to make sure that you get your racket up. As you remember on the forehand, um, forehand video, I showed you guys to put your hands against an imaginary fence right here. On the backhand, it's not that important to imagine an imaginary fence to keep your racket against. All I want you guys to remember is keep your racket as high as your head, eye level. That's what I want you guys to focus on. So it's going to look like this. So you're facing forward. You take your racket back around your, your head level, eye level. Make sure it's there. If it's a little high like this, that's okay. But if it's too low, that's not okay. So remember that. So take it back around eye level. As you take it back, if you can remember on my forehand drill, on the forehand, I told you guys to imagine an imaginary fence on two sides, on the side and behind you. You don't have to worry about either one on this backhand because you're not going to turn your wrist like this. You're not going to turn it like that. Instead, you're just going to take your racket back, back a little bit. You see how my shoulder is turned towards the net? My back of my shoulder is turned towards the net. So this is a net right here in front of me. You see, that's how far you want to take it. You want to make sure that this back shoulder is facing the net. I'll show you again from the from the back. That's how far you want to take your racket. You see, this racket face is almost open towards the, towards the fence right here. You can think about it like that, but just to not confuse you, don't worry about any imaginary fence on this back end. Just take it back enough for your right shoulder space in the neck. So you're taking it back. Now you're going to drop your wrist. Both wrists, is going to, both wrists are going to pronate towards the ground. So you see this little, I'll show you from here. Back it back, and then your racket's going to drop. This little, ra this little wrist drop is what's going to create a lot of spin and a lot of power on the ball. Back it back, eye level, drop, pronation. As you're dropping, you're going to slowly pivot your body towards the shot. See how my, my, my left hip is going to open up towards the shot, as well as my left foot. You can see it from here. Back it back, eye level, drop your wrist. Now, as my racket goes forward, my left hip is opening towards the net, as well as my left foot facing towards the net. And I make contact a little bit in front of me. And as I make contact, it's very important to use this left arm. Use that left arm to drive forward, drive forward. So I'll show you that again from the beginning. Facing forward, turning to the side, racket up, eye level, dropping with the wrist, pivot, Pivot with the hip as well as your left foot. Make contact out in front. Drive through. Okay. So when you're driving through, you want to make sure your left arm is doing most of the work. You, this right arm is, think about it, is just coming along for the ride. You don't want to do too much with this right arm. You don't want to get too fancy. Making sure that that left arm is, is, is driving through is going to be important for the drive. The spin, spin is going to come from your, your wrist dropping. This little motion right here is going to create that spin. Because look, a lot of people, they don't drop that wrist. They go here, they drop it a little bit, but then they swing through. They swing through. That's just going to create a lot of drive. So you want to drop it, drop, and then this is going to allow you to get from the bottom up and through. That bottom up motion is what creates a spin. Using the left arm to go through and getting that racket back is what creates the power on the ball. Again, I'll show you from this side. Fence is facing me in front, racket back, eye level, shoulders, shoulders facing the net, drop with my racket, with my wrist, pivot, make contact out in front, drive with your left arm. And your finish is not too important, just make sure you finish all the way to the shoulder. You can finish up high a little bit, you can finish a little low, it doesn't really matter, just making sure you finish all the way to the shoulder. I hope this video added some value to your game, and if it did, leave a like and subscribe. Leave me a comment for other tips you'd like to see as well, guys. As always, have a great day.